Welcome to UAS Magazine's Top Headlines. I'm your host, Jacob Noterman. Before I get started, I'd like to thank this edition's headline sponsor, the 11th Annual UAS Summit. Taking place in Grand Forks, North Dakota, August 21st through the 23rd, the summit is set to showcase and explain the evolution of UAVs while revealing the current state of the commercial UAS industry. For more information, visit the UASSummit.com. Aerospace defense developer V-Star Systems has teamed up with Martin UAV to demonstrate a new lightweight modular signal intelligence sensor on board Martin's V-Bat unmanned aircraft system. Normally used by the military for detecting signals and monitoring communications, the sensor's civilian applications could include counter-drone operations and search and rescue missions. Flying at 5,000 feet, the drone was able to detect radio frequency signals from more than 100 miles away. Fortress UAV, a new repair service for commercial and consumer unmanned aerial vehicles, has been launched as a subsidiary of Fortress Solutions. The company supports out-of-warranty and damage repairs for DJI and unique drones in the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. It's estimated that up to 30% of new consumer drone pilots crash their drones within the first week of purchase, resulting in damage not covered by the manufacturer's warranty. The Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, or DARPA as it's called, recently completed testing of small quadcopters equipped with technology then enable them to fly autonomously through buildings and cluttered obstacle courses. The research is part of the agency's fast, lightweight autonomy program. The goal is to develop advanced algorithms for drones to operate without guidance from a human, GPS, or any data links to or from the aircraft. An Israeli company has successfully tested a new device capable of stopping GPS jamming and spoofing attempts against in-flight drones. Tests were conducted with Bluebird Aerosystems and involved the installation of the GPS dome on a UAV. Although GPS jamming and spoofing attempts were made against Bluebird Aero's GPS dome equipped drone, the UAV was able to maintain its GPS capabilities. Thanks for tuning in. To view these stories in their entirety or for more news, features, or data details, visit UASmagazine.com. See you next time.